Good afternoon, Pipers. Hope you're all well. Me and the boy are doing fine. It's uh, Thursday afternoon and I've finished now for another long weekend as we're pretty quiet at the day job. Just lit up some uh, Gaworth Dark Bird's Eye, the vintage cut in my uh, basic poker. So, a nice stout smoke for after work. So, uh, two pipes to show you, a pair of commissions finished up, both for the same guy, you all know him, Kev, the Granite City Piper. I'm not sure, but I think this is pipe nine and ten from myself for him. He is my number one customer. And a great guy. So, we'll have a look at these pipes. That's lovely. I, I got this about maybe six or eight weeks ago. And I uh, smoked a couple of bowls. And it was a little bit, a little bit harsh, a little bit rough. But uh, a couple of months in the jar, they've done it the world of good. Yeah, that is good. Right, put my glasses on. So the titles are. Igneous and Vulcan. So we'll start with Igneous first. So Kev named these pipes, not myself, and the igne Igneous was because these are both. So Igneous is obviously a rock out of out of lava, an Igneous rock and. Uh, Vulcan is a god of fire because these have both got the Eldridge Amber Flame stem. And uh, Igneous, he named it because uh, his handle on Instagram and what have you is Granite City Piper and uh, is it Granite City Kev? I'm not sure, but Granite City is uh, Aberdeen where he's at, and uh, Granite is obviously a igneous rock. So. <laughs> <laughs> a bit long-winded there, but that's where we came from, Igneous. And it is a straight Rhodesian with a slight bend in the stem. Finished in the Canyon Rustication with lots of birdies on the top. Just stacks of them, which is nice to get out when you do one of these squatter wider pipes. And then we've got, I put him on a lovely piece of buffalo horn for the shank cap. And some buffalo horn is just black, like so. And then some you get like little streaks through it. And then we've got this lovely Eldridge Amber Flame. And Kev is a filter smoker, so it's a nine milli. Mm 
So yeah, nice little squat Rhodesian. Bit junkier, we it being nine mil. There's not much we can do about that. Pipe makers nightmare nine mils. So that is Igneous. And Vulcan is one of the shapes that I'll only do if I really know you because I don't like doing the shape. It is one of my umpals. So there we are, Vulcan, got a fire. With a lovely blast, lots and lots of rings, detail. There's a bit of a contrast stain. Got all them rings and detail on that blast there. Blasted bottom. And then lots of birdies on this one as well. got the this is actually a bronze chancring and then we've got another piece of Eldridge amber flame I actually like this piece better personally because I like the darker bits of amber running through whereas the other one with more flame I guess but I find this a lot more interesting Nice uh, half moon shape at the end there, worked out nice on the uh, mouthpiece. So yeah, that's a look at them both together. So obviously I've used the amber flame before there's one on the website in it the uh, shop pot still on the website and uh, this is a 24 mil rod which is the ongoing rod the other was a 19 mil prototype so there you can see that one's more flame ever and i personally like the one with the more amber in it the dark and amber but it's all preference and uh, Kev's got best of both worlds so they will be heading up to Scotland tomorrow uh, the uh, Acorn arrived in Delaware stateside yesterday With Stacey, who's uh, the leather worker, and uh, she was over the moon with it and said some really nice words. And I think because she's a crash person, she understands how much passion gets into a piece that a crash person makes and sometimes you send pipes out and fair enough some to, to a lot of people a pipe is just a pipe and a vessel to smoke tobacco in and that's fine uh, but to other people it's a bit more than that and i think if you can get a connection with a customer as well they understand how much love and passion you put into something uh, the time it takes and all the details and so when you get the feedback of someone like that is just lovely and uh, as I've said on social media that is the reward not the money it's uh, like I say I've got a day job so the money kind of covers materials and machinery etc and pays for some of my tobacco but uh, the reward the, the appreciation I guess for the time and effort you put in is 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 what really means more uh, so that were nice the telly's blown up 
And there's so many things on go now. We've got Rings of Power on go, House of Dragon on go. Uh, I started on Succession, which I'm halfway through the first season, I think, and I'm really loving that. Very quirky business type thing. Not really sure where it's going to go, but I'm enjoying it. But then Andor, Endor dropped yesterday on Disney and I watched the first episode of Dharma on Netflix, which is just going to be the <laughs> freaky show. Just like the first episode was just awesome. Obviously, Jeffrey Dharma is going to be pretty gruesome and I think it will be throughout. So I'm looking forward to the rest of that. So lots and lots to go on with telly. Which is good because now the weather's turned, it's pissing it down here. It's uh, fairly warm, but it's 16 degrees and winter is coming. So uh, there'll be plenty of time for watching TV. And pipe making, of course. Uh, I've got two commissions that I've nearly finished up now. And I just got one in yesterday to start. So all good in the hood. So uh, the weekend is upon us again. And as ever, my friends... Stay smoky.